Now the fun part, win the storm. Have you ever made money at win the storm per year? Like everybody knows that you don't make money on conferences. I made money in the last year, actually, after five years, and I'm like, I'm done with mine. But uh, have you been profitable? Yeah, the first five or six years, it was break even or, or lost money. Um, the idea wasn't to necessarily make money on a conference. It was to sell traditional SVG product services, subscriptions. Uh, but I think at the, uh, the last three or four years, which was really Phoenix 2019, NOLA 2020, Dallas, obviously was a blowout, a big one. Um, those three years were money makers, meaning not huge amounts of money, but not enough where like, you're like, it's a business model. Tell me about new ownership. How did sale go through? What's next for when the storm? Interestingly enough, so we get through Fort Lauderdale um, and I was still floating the idea. You know, there was conversations going on that, that it was time for me to sell, meaning I was interested in talking to people. I didn't advertise it. I didn't hire a broker. I didn't hire an attorney. I call it a whisper campaign. I talked about this in Exit Strategy Bootcamp. You don't always have to hire a broker and of course. hire these attorneys. If you have a business model that's successful or a proven success, there's people probably around you in your industry that might want to buy it. It could be your competitor. It could be I, someone. I have that right now. Yeah. I have like five people talking to me to buy mine. Yeah. And, and sometimes it's the strangest things that come up. I mean, I had, so I had, after Fort Lauderdale, people were like, oh, Fort Lauderdale, bombed, it was slow, but I still had a nine year history, not only real history of brand, brand is there. but financials. If you looked at my financials in the last three years of Windstorm, Storm, they're pretty, inc and SVG combined, pretty incredible from a profit standpoint. Digital marketing is a lot of profit once you create all the content, especially in an online university. But I just didn't have the passion to run it anymore. I mean, especially dealing with the-, with the uh, Did you sell trade. SVG too? Yeah, so the everything. whole thing. So you don't have nothing. light speed, nothing. And so I got, so within three months after Fort Lauderdale, keep in mind what was going on here, where we're at here. So this property here was meant, I bought this property to be a rehab and flip, and it was going to be a course inside SVG. Give me this story really quick, because I want to understand how you yeah. got this. So this property after Hurricane Ian hit, uh, Hurricane Ian hit, this, this was hit here with Cat 4, Cat, I think Cat 5 wins. That, that steel door down there was bent in. That roof was ripped off. This is filled with water. This is all water and you can see the sky through here. So this property, this, this property is a nine, this is a 920,000 policy limits claim we're sitting in right now. Farmer's insurance. So I bought the property from Tammy, the homeowner, with the claim assigned. And the whole reason I did it, believe it or not, was to create, wasn't meant to live here. It was to do a rehab and flip. I was gonna say, well, I'll get the insurance money. That'll actually pay me back for the property because I knew it was going to be a big claim. I'll fix, I'll fix it. I'll, I'll make, you know, I'll get some of these other trades done for less money. So I was thinking in my head, and I'll make a course and film it all, and I'll have something new for SVG University, something never, nobody's ever seen before. Rehab and flip using a claim to buy the property. I even created a course thumbnail. I thought this will give new I've juice. This will give new juice to SVG University. That was my idea because I needed something new. You always need something new, otherwise you're talking about the same old stuff. And so that was the plan, you know, this is before Fort Lauderdale, this is back in December, right? Well, after the Fort Lauderdale thing and, and then some, some things happened to Arizona where the moms showed up unexpectedly. Moms? Mom. Mom. From Emery, Emery's, Emery's mom. Yeah. Meaning showed up like through the window at 3 in the morning, trying to sneak in the house, showing up in a U-Haul trailer in front of the house going through whatever she's going through with her addiction problems. And I just thought it wasn't safe, you know, showing up like that wasn't safe for her to be out there. It wasn't, I mean, it, it was drama for most people. For me, I was just like, you know what? I don't, I don't, what if I wasn't here? What if she took her? I mean, I don't know. So I, I thought, you know what? I'm going to go move into that house on Florida. <laughs> and at the time I was starting to rebuild. There's a lot of work going on so here. That little girl literally have you moved here. We what moved here. What a powerful here. little girl. We moved here because <laughs> of her. We moved her here. We moved here and uh, literally right after the Fort Lauderdale conference, probably within 30 days, we moved here. And I shut my, I shut my deal, I shut everything down there. Again, left a little Navy SEAL team, about three or four people. Didn't know I was selling the company, but I was starting to get some LOIs and some interest. 
But I moved here to get her out of that environment. And quite honestly, I didn't have any family there. And when, you, when you're raising a uh, two-year-old girl, the four or five cool guy friends you got in town, they're not, they're not hanging out with you anymore, changing diapers. Because back, back you know, a couple months ago, they were playing pool, having fun, staying, coming over to your, your nice pad, hanging out. Now you got diapers and baby food. And so I realized I had Anthony no family. Anthony Domenico, the father. I'll be damned, man. <laughs> <laughs> so we move here. This will get into your answer here. We're rehabbing a property, trying to get the roof on or shrink wrap on a house, dealing with the farmer's insurance stuff. Um, and then I started looking at this helicopter hangar and I'm like, okay, I can't go find an office right away. I might sell the company. I don't know yet. I got no money because I put all the money to buy the house. You know, you need to buy the house in cash. That's the other problem. You can't buy a house with a mortgage that's got an open claim with no roof <laughs> except shrink wrap. So you got to to get this deal done. I had to buy it in cash, and then I thought farmers I thought, man, they're gonna, there's no way they can't pay out for this. I mean, there's water everywhere. I mean, they're gonna pay out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna settle right away, and I'm gonna be, I'm still waiting to get paid. It's a year and a half later. I'm still waiting. Now they paid out three or four hundred, but it's not you know nine hundred twenty thousand. There's still another four hundred they haven't paid, and that's an that's an appraisal right now, and it's me. Like you'd have thought I would have had this crushed a year ago. So nothing but is that's guaranteed. How, so, I, so I really feel for the homeowners here because if it's if it's me and they knew who I was, maybe that's why they're giving me pain. They, they knew I was SVG, the farmers, they know who I am. But anyways, you know, we're out here. It's it's two months after the conference. It's April. I'm, I'm trying to rebuild this thing. I literally have no, no cash left because I dumped it all into this. <laughs> and I'm like, I got to turn this into something where I can do what I do to make money because I can't, you know, I didn't even have a nanny set up here. I didn't really get the nannies in place here until maybe a month ago properly, you know, where I have coverage. And so I started designing this place saying, okay, well, if I'm going to shoot here, you know, I made this for me. And then I started realizing other people could use it too. You know, you got podcasts, uh, the speakeasy. So this now turned into my office and then rejuvenated my motivation to launch MVG Studios, which is where we're sitting now. But that didn't all happen right away. You know, there's a process. And in and, and SVG, I, you know, I, I got a couple LOIs from some guys on WTS SVG. Um, Josie Parks and Larry Janeski was, was it was a conversation with Josie. And uh, I took a trip up to Larry Janeski's office in, in, uh, up there in Connecticut. And he's like on 10, 8, 10, 28, like acreage of you talk about contractor university. It's called Contractor Nation. It looks like a it looks like a college university of buildings everywhere. He's got roofing franchises. He's got basement refinish franchises. He's got dealers. He's got he's got his own conference that people come in there just for his dealers. And it really, he's got his he's got an entrepreneur. Um, it's a it's not storm. It's obviously it's, it's retail, but it's just a really good entrepreneurship platform for business. A really smart guy. I mean. And spent some time, spent a couple of days up there, and we were just kind of feeling each other out. And him and Josie, uh, you know, presented presented me with an LOI, and we went back and forth. And they see, you know, I had an, I had two other ones I was looking at. So how, how is Janeski involved in SVG? He's he's part owners with Josie. He's part owner. Oh yeah. So it's not just Josie. No. And I thought, uh, yeah, it's Josie and Larry, and they, and they go back years. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Larry's an early mentor of Josie's. Yep. And Josie's making all kinds of moves right now. He's he bought a he bought another Total tech home. company. Yeah. He bought another hundred million dollar company, and and I, I don't know if they're partners or not, but they're they're creating uh, some really interesting stuff. And I think from the retail side, like where you come from, you probably get along well with Larry. Mm -hmm. He doesn't really have a storm thing. He get, he gets it. Josie understands the storm more, but he can bring a lot of retail things into. And I think they're making plans for that down the road through the the new SVG platform to bring all this other stuff that Larry already has to really provide that contract or maybe that storm guy who's doing nothing but storm, all these other avenues way he could make money on that same customer, whether it's basement refinishing, air duct systems. I'm trying to remember all the stuff he's got. He's got so many different Basements, opportunities yeah. up there. Yeah, the basement, uh, roofing, all kinds There's of like foundation. 50 patterns. Yeah, I got his air humidifier. I got his air purifiers in my house because Emory has asthma. Like they make them right there in Connecticut. So, but they're, yeah, they're amazing. Her, her asthma issues went away because of them. So they, they, she's got so many things. So I think there's going to be, a, it's a great marriage with them because they can bring things that I could never have done back in the past. 
and Josie's a stand-up guy, and I think people are understanding his brand, his brand, and what his vision is with uh, the new WTSFG, and they're getting a good response from it, and more power to him. And so it just made sense for me at that time. I think they got a really good deal. <laughs> well, the, the, the boys you had the lowest. <laughs> you should have sold them after the Dallas. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but it was a good deal for me too, and it got me out of a. It got me out of a. I mean, I don't know if. You, I haven't been down to zero in a long time. I've always been good. So when you're down to zero and you're living and on a farm good. that you bought, that you're stuck build, rebuilding with a three-year-old and you're at zero. And oh. for the first time, you're looking at the price of socks down the street. Never did, you know, stuff, stuff I didn't notice. Like what are, you, you become now you, different. You, you feel like a single mom who works at McDonald's. Oh, yeah, you, you become different. So that sale helped. You know, we saw, I spun off the solar division. That was a little smaller. That was that was only a two-year-old company. But uh, um, just magical things started happening. Those, those two things were magical, I think.